Great effort, little kitty. Let's give it a taste. Whoa! Now that's a tough cookie. Or should I say cake? Oh no! Kitty messed up! The cake's a disaster! Hey now, don't be so hard on yourself. Even flops can lead to fantastic things. You do love your favorite toy, Silly Putty, right? Yeah, what about it? Well, would you believe it was a total accident? Let me tell you the story behind the invention of Silly Putty. Let's zoom in! It was 1943, smack in the middle of World War II. And America had a problem, not enough rubber. Soldiers needed it for everything. Boots, tires, gas masks, you name it. Citizens were donating tires and sneakers, but the supply still fell short. So to solve this problem, Dr. James Wright, a Scottish-born engineer at General Electric, figured why not whip up a new kind of rubber from scratch? So he grabbed two unlikely ingredients, silicon oil and boric acid, and gave them a good mix. What he ended up with wasn't exactly raw material. It bounced like a ball, stretched like taffy, and even lifted ink off newspapers like some weird stamp. But as for using it in boots or tires, it didn't work. It was too soft, too stretchy, and it shattered under pressure. In short, it wasn't exactly a rubber or had any benefit. They nicknamed it Nutty Putty, sometimes even solid liquid. At G, it was mostly forgotten except at office parties where it became a goofy little hit. Guests would squish it, stretch it and press it onto the Sunday comics to copy Garfield's face. The war problem wasn't solved, but they had accidentally invented something that kids would one day go nuts for. That's where Peter Hodson comes in, a down on his luck and man with a nose for novelty. He spotted the strange stuff at a party and thought, hmm, this has potential. So he gave it a new name, Silly Putty, stuffed it into plastic Easter eggs and priced it at two bucks a pop. At first, it flopped. Kids didn't get it. Why buy goo when you get a toy car or a bouncy ball? But Hodson didn't quit. He leaned into the silly. He showed kids how to make wiggly worms, smash it flat, stretch it wide and bounce them back again. Still, sales were meh. Until his real stroke of genius came in TV commercials. And boom, Silly Putty became an instant hit and flew off the shelves. By the 1960s, every kid wanted one. Fast forward to today, Silly Putty paved the way for the modern slime craze and became one of the best-selling toys in history, with over 300 million eggs sold. And it's still going strong, one squish at a time. Who would have thought that, in a world at war, one failed lab accident would stick not just to walls and desks, but in our childhood memories forever. Trivia time! Did you know in 1968, astronauts aboard Apollo 8 brought silly putty with them? Yes, it helped hold tools in place in zero gravity and probably kept the crew entertained too. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Grace Sebastian. 
Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox. Zoom big out. Kitty, why would you do that? Kitty, don't hit me, bounce back like silly pretty. Well, good try, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs>